Okay, hopefully a short topic on simple harmonic motion. Um, so the definition, if a particle moves in a straight line so that, so that its acceleration is always directed towards a fixed point in the line and is proportional to the distance from that fixed point, then the particle is said to move with simple harmonic motion. Uh, the diagram I've got here is the sem uh, trying to draw a spring. So if a spring is going up and down, it's moving in a straight line, its acceleration is proportional to how far from the middle it is. Okay. Um, so when it's going through the middle, it's got high velocity but uh, constant acceleration. Um, and then, yeah, so that's just one example there. So copy that and come across. Uh, so we use simple harmonic motion to model vibrations or for modeling pendulum, but there could be just particle questions that we're going to be doing. Again, we'll try to make it as straightforward as possible. Assumptions, motions in a straight line. The force is proportional to the distance from a particular fixed point, and the assumption that is there is no friction. Okay, copy, come across. Okay, so I've, this is my third go at this video because I had A's in different places. So this A here is not acceleration. This A here is the amplitude of the motion. So um, just remember that the constant there is not acceleration. Um, so I've got x, x dot, x dot, dot. I had V and A, but then I got confused with my A's. So here's the formulas that we're going to use. Uh, displacement is A cos NT plus C. Ve velocity is minus NA sine NT plus C. And acceleration is minus N squared A cos NT plus C. And all I've done is I've just derived X to get V and then derived V to get A. And there's another useful formula, again, that we haven't got time to show you the where it comes from but v squared is n squared a squared minus x squared is a really good formula so a is not acceleration a is the amplitude of the motion n is the angle of velocity period um uh, t is time um, baby t equals time uh capital t period equals 2 pi on n which is also equal to 1 on the frequency and c is a phase shift um, most of the time c is going to be equal to zero, but sometimes you might be given some information. So at this stage, assume c is going to be zero in most cases. Okay, copy, come across. Okay, first example, a particle oscillates 1.2 meter, meters either side of a fixed point with simple amount of motion. The period of oscillation is 8 seconds. Find the maximum speed. Okay, um, so the first thing we need to do, we need to work out what n is. So the period is 2 pi over n, so n equals 2 pi over period, which is 2 pi over 8, which is pi on 4. And we're in radian measures, make sure you're in radians, and that equals about 0.78. And the, diff the unit would be radians per uh, second. Okay, and then from there, um, so the, the speed formula, uh, going back to my formulas so the speed formula is um, minus n a sine n t plus c and the maximum will, it will occur when sine is at one like this when sine sine goes between zero and plus and minus one but the maximum will be at one so the maximum speed uh, will be uh, minus 0 0.78 times a, which is 1.2, so we won't worry about the minus sign because that just means direction, okay, so that gives us 0 0.94 meters per second, so that's the maximum speed. Uh, part B of the question, find the speed when the particle is 0.8, so we're going to use the uh, v squared equals n squared a squared minus x squared formula. Um, so n is 0 0.78, so we'll square that. Uh, a is 1.2 squared, x is 0.8 squared, and then v will equal the square root of that number. And when you put that in your calculator, I got 0 0.84 meters per second. So the maximum speed is 0.94, and the speed 0.8 at uh, position point 0.8 was equal to point 0.84 and the last part of the question the acceleration so we've got acceleration equals minus n squared 
a sine nt plus c so we've got 0.78 squared times 1.2 times sine of 0.78 and the time was 3 again assume c is equal to 0 when you put that in the calculator making sure that you're in radian mode radian mode put that in the calculator you get 0.72 meters per second squared okay copy and come across when you're ready okay so looking at another example turn my page Okay, the end of a spring vibrates 20 times per second. The spring compresses to 16, extends to 20 while vibrating. So that's the smallest distance. That's the longest distance. So the length of the spring will be midway between. So that's just 18. 18 centimetres. Um, part B of the question. Um, so we've got... Um, period equals 2 pi over n which also equals 1 over the frequency um, so therefore 2 pi on n equals 1 on f therefore n on 2 pi equals the frequency therefore n equals 2 pi times the frequency which is 2 pi times 20 so we get 80 pi oh sorry 40 pi 40 pi radians per second uh, then what do we do with that number so max acceleration will be just if you go back to acceleration formulas to do so maximum acceleration will just be that number when cos is equal to 1. So we've got minus n squared a. So we've got uh, 40 pi squared, 40 pi squared times 20, which is 3,200 pi squared centimeters per second squared all right see how we go with that one next well, one more example to go particle moves with simple harmonic motion it starts from rest at a distance six meters from the center of the oscillation period is four pi find etc etc all right so first thing we do is we try to work out what n is uh, 2 pi over n equals 2 pi over 4 pi so that's equal to a half radians per second uh, when a is so when uh, so when so we've got a equals six when t equals zero and x is also equal to six so that's the maximum amplitude which is the displacement so we get x equals a cos nt plus c so 6 equals 6 cos 0 plus c 1 equals cos c c equals cos minus 1 1 which is 0 the angle alright so the formula for x is 6 cos uh, n t which is 6 cos a half t so x on 6 equals cos a half t so cos minus 1 x on 6 equals a half 
t t equals two cos minus one x on six. minus 1 um, x is 3 the 6 so it's 2 times cos minus 1 a half which is 2 times pi on 3 which is 2 pi on 3 seconds that's the answer to part A um, second part of the question. Second part of the question. Find the velocity acceleration at this time. So part B. V equals minus a n sine n t plus c is minus six times a half sine uh, n is a half times. 2 pi on 3 plus c minus 3 sine pi over 3 which is minus 3 root 3 over 2 meters per second and acceleration is minus n squared x which is minus a half squared times 3 equals three quarters meters per sec uh, meters per second squared. Okay. And I think that's it. Um, just gotta check that I've actually given that to you as a, a formula but otherwise we just sub it into the acceleration, the whole the full length formula and you get the same answer. Okay, hopefully we'll go okay in this part. Bye.